Hey, what is that thing? Just dig a little further. Oh, it's a statue. You are the first statue that actually wants to talk to me. What kind of god are you then? I don't mean to be rude, but are you sure you aren't just a statue? Whoa! Anyway, I just saw a boy on that slope. A young boy with wings. Oh, great. Now I'm completely losing my mind. Uh, may I disturb you for a moment? Oh, great. Not only am I talking to myself, but now I'm also beginning to hallucinate. But I'm not a hallucination. I I I'm Jerry Hazelnut. Hazelnut? Of course. I am definitely losing my mind. What are you doing here, all by yourself, in the middle of nowhere? What do you think? I'm wasting my time. I've been waiting for the polar whale for weeks, but it's no wonder I can't find it. My equipment broke down, and today is Christmas Eve, and I promised to call home. Darn it. <sighs> I know how it feels when you have something incredibly important to do before you get to go home. The boy with the wings and the top hat seems to understand. Good thing my radio isn't working. If I tell this to anyone... <sighs> Can I be of assistance in some way? Can you fly me home? I don't think so. These wings aren't real, you know. Yes, that's what I thought. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I'll be on my way then. All right. I hope hallucinations don't get cold. You're not even wearing a jacket. No, I'm under the protection of the moths. Oh, of course. I should have known. On the crate, it says... Project Polar Whale. Top secret research materials. I'm going to take one of the strings of lights. In my thesis, it all sounded so convincing. Attract an almost extinct species with lights, and now I've been freezing my butt off for weeks and nothing works. Darn it! This looks like a Christmas tree. I knew it. You're my guilty conscience, right? <laughs> I do realize it was a mistake to work over the holidays. Those horrible old dirtbags from the university. It's all their fault. Now what? It's plugged in. So far, so good. Let's <laughs> go. 
kind of god are you then? I don't mean to be rude, but are you sure you aren't just a statue? Oh, the lights on the Christmas tree are glowing. The lightning bolts must have reloaded the battery. You know, I think you're more than just a statue after all. Thank you. Hello, Alice. Is that you? Marie! My goodness. It's so good to hear your voice. I... I'm so sorry that I can't be with you. I... I... <laughs> Listen, the whole family is here with me, and they're all just happy to know you're alive and well. Me too. But I promised. Hey, remember those words? Hope is like a candle, a light in the window. It guides the heart on its way home. Exactly. I know it's not easy right now, but at least you've still got hope, right? You always know how to cheer me up. That's what I'm here for. What should I do? Take a picture, you dummy! says, I already learned everything there is to learn here. Yes, I think I know how the next spell works. Oh, light in the dark. I wonder if I can go home now. You came back from the cold. You no longer require Moonlight's protection against that. But she cannot protect you from this wingless. But that's a Marquis de Hoto. <sighs> Marquis de Hoto. Marquis de Hoto. In the world from whence we came, he has a different name. The Cold One. <gasps> he was willing to let us freeze to death. But ladies, there must be some misunderstanding. Some ridiculous misunderstanding, Quiet. which indeed, we have no time to explain. Quiet. We shall move on, and you cannot stop us. Go ahead. You take the lead, Hespera. Jerry, you are a moth, even if one cannot always see your wings. You saw to it that we have enough nourishment to raise our High Priestess in a safe place. Look into my eyes. He is going to betray your trust. With the first promise, the Cold One breaks. An abyss will open. The cold 
you'd won, but you don't even know me. Jerry, these moths don't know me. Why did the moths say that I shouldn't trust you? That was nonsense. Insulting nonsense. Jerry, trust me. We really haven't got much time. You learned your four spells. And now your greatest test awaits you. Yet another test. Jerry, I cannot grasp it all myself yet, but there is great danger brewing. Yes, I know now where the crows come from. We could help Mousewood. Mousewood? There's more than that at stake. Much more. I want to go home, just for a bit. What? I want to go home. Jerry, you cannot go home now. But you said that I could return home soon. If we keep wasting our time, then... Last nail. I. Ah! Oh no! You must break the spell. You alone can stop him. Apprentice magician. Oh no! He left me all alone. I want to go home. again. I'm back home. Ah, that's the leaf the Marquis left behind. Luckily. Oh man, 